What is up everybody? So, my car is dead. Yeah, did something there, but yeah, dead as a doorknob. And I am ashamed to say it's actually my fault. What happened was I was working on this car earlier. I wanted to do something about this white weather stripping. You know, it's, it's 20 years old. There's supposed to be like a brown cover over this weather stripping that's supposed to have it not looking like this, but 20 years made it crack and peel off. So that'll be another video for another day. But in my wisdom, I left the car door open. And to be honest with you guys, that's it. Had no dome light on. I don't listen to the radio when I work on my car. You know, I know there are some people that turn the car on and they'll have their music playing while they're working. I don't do that because I already know that's not good for the battery. Literally, I had the door open. And I guess that warning light takes just enough to wear down the battery. I mean, this is crazy. I got no horn right now. Actually, when I try to push the horn, you can see that warning light turning off. Don't even have lights right now. I mean, I can hear it trying, but nothing. And also, same thing. Turn the lights on, that warning light turns off. But I only got myself to blame for this. This is what happens when you don't think. So we're gonna go ahead and hook up this battery charger that I borrowed from my dad. This one is fully automatic, automatically detects voltage. And basically you just hook it all up and leave it to charge. Also, down here, it shows you some warning lights. Clamps reversed, charging, and charged. So, pretty simple. We'll just go ahead and get it hooked up. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is pick this up in the daytime. Also, the next thing you're gonna want is some proper eye protection and some proper gloves, just in case you go to hook this up and any sparks fly out of here. So, first thing we'll do is connect the positive battery terminal. And you can tell the difference. The red one has the positive on it. Black one has the negative. And then with your battery terminal, same thing. This one is your negative, that one is your positive. And your positive battery terminal will have this little cap over it telling you it's the positive battery terminal, in most cars anyways. So, we'll go ahead and take our positive clamp and hook it up to the positive battery terminal. Also make sure you stand back a little bit when you do this. Always remember, safety first, that cannot be stressed enough. But take your positive wire or your positive clamp, hook it up to the positive battery terminal. And then your negative clamp, you don't necessarily want to hook it up to the negative battery terminal like you might think. What you want to do is find a good metal ground. So there are three bolts right here holding in the shock absorber. We'll just go ahead and put the negative battery terminal on one of these. And there we go. And now we are ready to plug the machine in. It is very important that you do not hook this up while the machine is plugged in. Remember, you are working with electricity. Always think, safety first. There we go. And this says it is charging, which is just what we want to see. So we'll go ahead and leave this here and check on it a little bit later. All right, so here we go. It is fully charged. It took about three and a half hours, which isn't that bad. Right now I'll go ahead and unplug it. 
and there we go. Now to disconnect it, and remember, eyewear and gloves. There we go. And now the moment of truth. And now this car is happy as a clam. Now just reset your radio and take it for a drive so the computer can reset itself. Also, just to clarify, this method is only good if you say left your lights on, left the radio on a little too long, left a dome light on, left the door open, and it drained your battery. If your car has a battery that's say five plus years old and it's just getting weak, or you have a bad alternator that's not charging properly, then this method really isn't gonna do a thing for you. You're actually gonna to have to look deeper to see what the problem is with your charging system. And a little update. So after I charged the battery, it lasted just long enough to reset the clock and the radio and then it died again. So, had to get a new one. I'll just say this, when you're working on your car, make sure your doors are closed. And don't forget, new videos every Sunday. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Also make sure you hit that bell so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys next week.